B-Dog didn't play for a few months. His scores and his shots showed it. He played two weeks prior to this and it was a tough day. It's been a difficult two years for his game. Just as he makes progress, golf gets shut down in the country he is in. He also got messed up by some wet behind the ears coach at one of these high-end indoor golf studios in Bangkok. The dingleberry there gave him 13 different things to think about during an unplanned walk-in trial lesson. Not good. In this round, B-Dog is playing nothing longer than a 7-iron. We stripped the bag of the clubs most affected by the wonder kid golf pro Dingleberry. Okay, today B-Dog is going to be playing, what are you playing, 7 or 6 iron down? 7 iron. Okay, nice seven warm up club, right? 7 iron down. He's been struggling with the strikes last week, but we went to the range, sorted it out, and today we're just going to get good at the 7 and down and learn some course management along the way. See, so then you're, you're not in the best shape, but you're not out of bounds. But that was a great strike. Even play. Okay, you got 282. What do you want into the green? 100, 100 and, okay. 110. Okay, then you want to hit 170 shot. 7 iron yeah, again. 7 7, and then we hit a wedge. In. Yep, that's a worker. That'll be about 100 in. Perfect. That's perfect. So you hit it toward the hole. Yeah. Along the ground, it's close to the we, hole. We wanted, we wanted 100 yards in, it's perfect. What have we got, 88? 88, yep. That looks nice. That's tasty. Perfect shot, bro, perfect shot. Well done. Thank you. Good shot. Get in the hole, baby. Get in. Yeah. Hey, great five, bro. At that palm tree, you're beautiful. I know. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Shot, bro. Whoa, that's that essential shot. Yeah. Oh. That's essential shot right there. Oh, yeah. The seven iron is not the point. The distance B-Dog hits is not the point. As the great golf philosopher J Mac once mused, when the sage points at the moon, the fool looks at the finger. I didn't see it. Dude, that's at the flag. Is it? Yeah. I think you caught it a bit too solid though, but we'll see. This game of golf healing should Beautiful teach shot. you, among other things, one, to stop and think your way around the course. Limitation breeds creativity. Two, to learn to strike your clubs better. Three, to not hit the ball hard. If you hit it hard, you are doing it completely wrong. Four, putt, to accept Oof. bogeys and doubles more easily. Five, to show yourself you can score like a bouse. Good and six, to relax your FOMO ass. Now we, we must also remember that for you, with this, this way of doing it, the par is definitely plus one. So Yeah, but so the, be the beauty of it is I'm hitting off the short grass. Yeah. So I'm not hitting from behind a tree, I'm not hitting from behind a bush. Stress free golf. Bunker, I can't clear the bunker. Huh? No, you can't clear that bunker, so just left of the 10 yards, you're looking good. You must pick your best clubs. You must, however, not FOMO and blow up intentionally. Dude, this is a way of healing your broken oh game to have fun again. But wow. you have to tailor it to your own game. For example, if I did this healing game, I'd play a 7 wood, 6 iron, 9 Sorry. iron, pitching wedge, and 56 degree only. Get it on the green. Guillotine. It's gonna work, baby. See, that's the nice thing with the seven. Your, your Still aiming safe. spot. Is well, if you don't have a driver, you automatically have to gear it down a little bit, and you know that you're not going to be aiming for those low scores. You're just aiming for good golf. Get in the fairway instead of score. So it's like a practice round. It's fun. Easy, Easy life.
192 to the flag. So, okay, so, so the thing is we can't lay up from 192 here because we have water in the way. If, it's, if I were you, I would take your seven, which goes like 165, 170, mm -hmm. and I'd hit it up to that, you see that green side bunker there? You see the, the dark one in the shadow? Like you got the two bunkers on the right? Yeah. And the left one there, which is like black. Yeah. Into that black hole. Cool. That'll leave you an easy pitch. Like we're not realistically going to lay this up 50 yards no. to leave a wedge because the water comes into place. So just straighten that bunker down there. The number one reason that golfers get stuck between 90 and 95 is because they do not stop. B-Dog has the same issue just we all do at times. We need to stop. Think about our shot for 10 seconds. Right, there is a lot of mindless golf over 90. Okay, we didn't really calculate the distance properly, but there's the water we don't want to go in. The, the landing area is small and it slopes into the water. So we wanted to carry that over here at least. Maybe an eight or nine into this position would be better. But B-Dog has gone. Where are you? Oh, <laughs> oh you're not even in the okay. bunker, that's fine. Uh, that's all right, I didn't think. Okay, get the feeling of this shot, okay? So you down slope, you're on a down slope, okay? Yep, just get a feeling right there. Hit another couple more, just to get the feeling, because it's a different light to normal. Get your shoulders level with the ground. Yeah, I love it. Roll out. That's, oh man, that's so good. <laughs> oh, what a shot! Dude, Okay, so that's one of those things, right, where, like, maybe you knew how difficult that shot was, but a lot of people won't. <laughs> and for them, they might think that was a shuri, or that's not good enough, or they could have put it closer. That was <laughs> probably, so that was, a, that was an 11 out of 10 shot. But they must so, understand, majority of people would fluff that in the bunker. And a 90, though, is all about mindful golf. From there, the 10 shots to get into the putt, 70s baby. is much oh. quicker than you think. I put up some comments with text when a mindful situation occurs and when it turns poofies. Mental shizer. Now you've got all those snail trails, you can see the exact line into the cup. Le yeah, where are you going to go? Left, left? Left edge, basically. Yeah. Come on! Man, good two putt, bro. Yeah. Not easy, not easy. I love that. Wow. Is that over? Beautiful strike. Oh my word. What a shot. Great sh That should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so lots. <laughs> so it's. I mean, you can see the snail trails are, are here. Yeah. So it's big left to right, but don't be shy to to let it go across the hole here. Okay. Across the hole, behind the hole, you're going to have a, a sloping right to left putt. Down here, you're going to have just basically straight uphill putt. Yeah, which is fine. So pick a pick a landing spot. What are you hitting? 60. Where do you normally land it? Like tell, here? Yeah, usually I'll land it there, but for these greens, I'm gonna land it. I'm gonna try land it there at I least. think up here is fine, dude. Up there, okay. But, but definitely you wanna go about three feet left of the pin. Okay. Uh, can you uh, tend the flag? Because it's leaning this way. No, it's not. That's the, that's the slope of is the green. Is that the slope? That's how okay. slopey it is. Never mind. Yeah, that's a that's a very well played shot. That's a very well played shot. Too much. Yeah, a little bit too much pace, but that's good. That's all right. Yeah. Okay, I see. A little pullish. Can I have a? Great shot, baby. Great shot, right there. Hit it, bad boy. You've got, got the line. 
Right. That's, oh. a, that's a par. That's a par four. Okay, wait, try. No, seven's no good here. Seven's no good. You've got the tree in front of you that's on the seven trajectory. Okay. And if you go left of that tree, you're in the water. I want to tell you, hit a, I want to say hit a niner. Okay. Just for the trajectory and then, because you, you won't be able to go for the green in three after this shot anyway. No. So I'd say no a chance. nine with a standard nine. You don't have to do anything different. Just right over this tree right in front of you. Okay. So. Over this what bunker, do you think? Basically. Does your nine clear that? Huh? Does your nine clear that easy? Should In my do. mind, your nine clears that. Yeah, I should go through this gap here. Oh crap! A little bit too hard, bro. A little too hard. We shall see. Like an easy four iron, just <laughs> just One hook nine it five easy four iron. Just around the tree there. Look right? at my crack. Pink bush. Uh, you see the pink bush? Yeah. There's a like dead tree to the right of it. Just yeah. the, the, the stump, the, yeah. the tall stump, at that stump. And, I, and it means I can swing easy. Yep. Which I'm just telling my brain, not really you. <laughs> go over, please go over the bunker. Ish. Trust me on this, you've got enough slope adding four degrees of loft to your shot. It's basically a 60 degree. Okay. You catch this well, you're two yards past the pin. You catch it mediocre, you're on the front of the green. Unless you just whack the shit out of it. <laughs> Come on! Not bad. Too long, no? Nah? Yeah. Good pace. Fine. Yeah, so after this experiment, when I eventually get the fives right, the par fives, and I can do it with a seven, the beauty is when I go back to standard set of clubs and I've got the distance, there's no excuse for me to smash it on those clubs because I've done it with a seven. 100%, so. 100%. There's, there's actually very few times you actually ever have to smash it. <laughs> well, he's now said he's going to outdrive with a seven. This is a, you don't want to jinx yourself. Like you don't want to jinx your personal self. <laughs> <laughs> Swing easy. Outdrive Matt. Outdrive Matt. Yeah, with a seven you have such a nice aiming area. You've got like basically 60 yards of fairway. You go straight up at that 150 uh, stake. At the bunker. Boom. <sighs> Shouldn't have tried to outdrive Matt. See? 268. 268? Yeah. Okay, so you want a 160 yard shot. 160, 170. 70. Yeah. Want to leave yourself a little wedge in, huh? Yeah. Okay, can find that one. Go just, daring. We, we're I not going to go daring because the then you're going to take a nine. Yeah. So let's just put, let's chip it out with a, yeah. whatever you have to chip it out. Um, let's go for a. Because it's not only about the score, hey. We want to just practice playing it smart. Yeah. What have you got there? Fifty-six. Okay, cool. Just chip it back in the fairway. You have a hundred-yard shot in. You know what? I'm actually not. I'm going to go eight. Well, how much do you want in? Huh? How much do you want in? No, I'm just putting it here. I just don't want to go in the tree. No, but why not just put it where the caddy's walking for a 100 yard shot? Okay. Just a very little chip. Yeah, there you go. See, so that's what this experiment does. It shows you what you need to work on. So like those punch shots from the trees, we need to, you need to get that because a lot of the time you may be in the trees. You want to hit that safe shot and practice the good course management. 56. That's a perfect layup. How much you got? Uh, 115. 115. That's a good number for your... 56. 56. Oh, dude, your swing is back. Oh, my word. Bite. Dude, that's the swing. 
So now B dog has a putt for a six. Instead of hitting it and trying to hit that gap and hitting a tree and now probably picking the ball up and move, moving off in a huff, he's got a chance at a six. What a life. That's butter. That's butter. A little bit left, but that's butter. A little, little bit left. It's okay. Great shot, boy. What Stop. a boyfriend. What a shot. It turn that way. Yeah, it's a worker. You just get that seven iron straight over the middle of that, that bunk in front of you? Yeah. You're laughing. Between the two or? No, no, no. There's one. On the left. The one on the left in front of you, right over the middle of it. You've got so much space there. Okay. Yep, that's fine there. Yeah, that's what I like about this experiment as well, bro, is that the radius for the radar for how wide you're going is so much narrower. Yeah. And often the score's not even mattering much now. It's about executing no. a shot to get you further up the fairway, which that's golf. Yeah, for, for, for me, it's also about getting that buttery feel again on the strikes, on the connections. Just get the strike, get the shot. Now you look like you have, you probably can get there. Yeah. How much? 168, I think. Yeah, I think that's your seven iron. At the pin, I think it's going to be a great line line for you. Little lefty. You, mate. Well played, player. Well played. Thank I you. think we've got a good putt at a, at a five there. Go. You see the, the burn mark is here. So just you just want to go here, bro. Just like right here. Inside left, stay down forever, be the man. Hey, what a player! What Sorry, a man! That wasn't gonna have the legs. You had legs, nice shirt, bro. Shirt, dude. Where'd you get that shirt? I don't know, some, some place on the internet. Can't What's remember. it called? What a, what a, what a, what a, what a. What a player! Oh, golf. There, that's it. That's what that's a player golf a dot com. Yeah. Go get your stuff. Should be Not fun. a nicer compared to that last round we played the other day. It's a lot less frustrating because you're hitting a drive and it's landing 50 <laughs> yards down the fairway or in the trees over here or. You're hitting a four iron, toothing it into a bush. Whereas these, it's getting up, it's getting closer. As long as it's going towards the green, I don't have a problem. I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, what did you shoot last week? Over 100. Yeah, it was like 107. Yeah. It's also, it's frustrating golf. Bryson DeChambeau hit it longer. Everybody on tour is long. We ain't on the tour. I don't know if you've noticed. Thank goodness, because there'd be a lot of dead spectators. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, I can't even see the flags. Yeah, but how much your watch saying? Uh, 241. 241, what do you have? Seven. So uh, you're gonna leave yourself, actually... you're gonna leave yourself how much? What do you prefer now, at this moment? What do you like in so green? 100. 100, so you wanna 100. hit 150. From that light, I'd say 150 club. Um, and then do you see the big palm there behind the green? Oh, there's the flag. Yeah, just yeah hit, I didn't see it before. Hit that, dead at that big palm, you're, you're golden. There we go, back in the game. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Yeah. He said he wanted 100, Sal. He wanted 100, he got 98. Caddy, no good. Yeah, solid strike. Okay, you've got to hit it harder, but you know what I mean? Mm. Now, if you have a pitching wedge, I'd like to see a pitching wedge. I'd, I'd actually prefer to do a pitching. Okay, go. That'll work. Woof. That'll work. I need to uh just 
laying it up. It's just a little layup there on the short part four. Side. In. Right Oof. Good. Ch it's in. It's in. Oh, oh my gosh. What a putter. Carry baby, carry baby. Stop you bad boy, stop bad boy. Yay! Okay, so just a little lesson there. Yeah. You're hitting a pool ski, little draw ski. Water left, you never set up on the right. Because <laughs> you're literally ha saying, Bring it Can on. Let's take a drop. Bring it on. <laughs> okay, 170 yards. We've got the seven. Now I want to just draw your attention to the lie, okay? It's pretty good. It's pretty good lie. But I think what you want to do is aim this. You see where the orange umbrella is? Yeah. There, right of the green. Okay. Right of the green. I think you're going to be happy with that shot. That's the trouble with that lie. Oh, dude, you made it over. That's amazing. Because you had just the grass a little behind it. I yeah. don't want to say it. The thing is... But I knew it would pull. I mean, it's deep. Yeah. So the club just goes in. Whoa. That sand is soft, dude. Softy. A little softer. In the hole. In the hole. Great one. Great one, player. Great one. Jeez, what a strike, bro. What a strike, bro. I think it's short of the bunker. That's all I'm always going to play a seven now. Because I don't think I can knowingly put myself in a better spot than right here. Well, exactly. But then what I might do to alter it for actual golf is on the par fives add in a longer clip yeah. just to help get over the psychological aspect well that's it. the point it's all psychological you've just drilled a seven iron down here and how much do you have in 45. No, because well that pin is front so if you're going 145 with a nine and it's 140 you've got probably 20 yards behind the pin okay i really need to fix my short clubs in your head now. Yep, that's good enough. Do another one with a chip. But mark that one and then let's see. That's why it's, it's just long term over 10 shots. Yeah. I think your putt is going to be much closer on average. Good one, baby. Same as me. <laughs> yep. Good shot. Great shot. Oh Bites. man, good shot. Really good. Great shot. Good shot. Really good. Great shot. Good shot. Keep rolling. Really good. Great shot. It felt. It felt like. Really good. Good shot. The, the first time. <laughs> it feels like the first time. Felt like the morning was a lot quicker. Oh, it was quicker. We weren't behind a six ball. No, man, the, uh, <laughs> the yeah. surface. It's going so slow now, the Bermuda's growing. It felt like the, the first time. Oh, yeah, baby. Great shot right there, man. That's a Thank really you. great shot. Well, B Dog seems to have given up on the experiment. He's hitting the driver. <laughs> It felt like mm -mm. The, the first time. 75. Okay, 75. So we how much? 250. Yeah. So you need like 180. Your max is a seven, so go for the seven. Go for the seven. You'll leave yourself a little lobber. I can go now with laying yes. up. Right? Yes. Yes. Yes, Queen. That's a little bit left there, man. Ah! B Dog a... is under the tree about a hundred yards. I hope he's thinking. I hope he's not uh, trying to clear anything or he doesn't look like he has much of a shot there. So let's see what happens. This is where the wheels fall off for a lot of people. 
No, we punch that one nicely and it's over the bunker, rolling up to the left side of the green, just over there. Thank you. Beautiful. Good Yes, great shot in the hole. Ah, what a shot. Well done, play. Ah, here we are. Yep, perfect. That'll work nicely, player. It's a little worker. You've got 222. Two, two. What do you want to lay up to? Yeah, anything less than 100 is. Okay. So we want to go 140 to 150. Okay. 140 so. to 150 sometime in the next like three days because I'm cooking. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yep. Dude, I don't know when last they changed these cups, but this is tragic. That's in the hole. In, in. You <laughs> little, you tiny dancer. I noticed some things. B-Dog's irons are flying at the highest of clubs with eight or 12 degrees less loft. It looks like he is semi-topping a lot of shots. His 60 degree wedge used to grip and rip quickly, but is now flying super low and rolling out like a four iron. And when he hits the driver, it flies like it's either de-lofted to zero degrees or is being topped. All of this seems like an obvious ball position problem to me. But this is the point. I don't know what it is. B-Dog doesn't know, and neither does anyone besides an experienced and reputable swing coach. So I won't try to fix it for B-Dog. The ego can get in the way of progress, and B-Dog could self-diagnose like most of us have at some point. He would then destroy himself like we all have doing the same thing. Instead, we agreed that he would get rid of these horrible KBS tapered shafted clubs and invest in some Shrixons with a shaft design for human beings. We'll keep playing the 7-iron only game and introduce a fairway wood or hybrid later to craft the backbone of his bag again. We will bring the driver back only after he gets it right at the driving range. He'll focus only on the swing mechanics that his coach in Malaysia taught him in 2020. 